Hey citizens, thanks for stopping by. In today's video presentation, we're going to take it up close and personal of this 2020 Cherry Tigo 7. As always guys, I'm going to take this Tigo 7 for a full walk around review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax and enjoy of this review. First of all, I would like to extend a big thanks and shout out to Cherry Ido Ido for allowing me to review their brand new units. For more information, see the description box below. So, here's the key fob, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, the side mirrors currently folded in, and to unfold the side mirrors, just hit the unlock button. If you press and hold the unlock button, you can roll down all four windows simultaneously and to roll it back up together, just press and hold the lock button. As simple as that. The Cherry Tigo 7 gets a standard feature of a smart key access system. Please make sure that the key fob is in yourself and as you can see, the doors are currently unlocked. To lock, press the black button found on any of the front door handles. One beep indicates that the car is locked. And to unlock, press that button again. To start the Tigo 7, make sure that the key fob is inside the vehicle and then put your foot on the brake and hit this engine start stop button mounted on the center console to go. Since we are inside at a dealership, we could not able to start this car for now. But for the meantime, just simply hit this uh, engine starts up button without pressing the brake. Currently you are in a accessory mode and if you press this twice all of the electronics of the car are turned on. The Cherry Tigo 7 gets a power steering system with electric assistance and rack and pinion type. Standard for the 1.5 turbo DCT is a 3-spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2, contrast stitching going around the inner rim, satin chrome accents that surround the bottom spokes, and mounted controls that are found at the two steering wheel spokes. Offered on a 1.5 liter turbocharged petrol engine is a 6-speed dual clutch transmission. Dual clutch transmission is a version of a regular automatic gearbox having a two different sets of clutches. Clutch number one controls for odd gears while clutch number two controls for even gears. With this, DCT provides faster shifting response and better fuel economy over a conventional automatic. 
standard items are your reverse camera with active guidelines and your front and rear parking sensors. The Charity GO 7 is powered by 1.5 liter dual over cam 16 valves and turbocharged inline four cylinder petrol engine with electronic fuel injection and intercooler. It generates 145 horsepower at 5500 rpm and 210 newton meters of torque between 1750 and 4400 rpm. Fuel tank size takes 51 liters of gasoline fuel with compliance of Euro 5. A 6-speed dual-clutch transmission is the only transmission choice for this engine and the drivetrain of the Tigo 7 is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Once upon a time, there's a crossover that has an athletic silhouette like Maserati Levante, sporty characteristics like Ferrari, and European features like Audi and BMW. However, that kind of car with all these various aspects cost more than 2 million peso mark which it could not fit on a budget. Luckily, there's one crossover that could rock your socks in regards to specs and price. What you're looking at is the Charity Go 7, and this is what's called a sporty sensational crossover SUV. With these European characteristics and luxurious features found on any European cars, does the Charity Go 7 has the same identity but value for money? Here's what you need to find out. Launched in November 2019, the Tigo 5X is a compact crossover SUV by Cherry. It competes against Honda CRV, Toyota RAV4, GD Coolray and Ascara, MG ZS and RX5, the all new Ford Territory, and the rest. Slotted between the Tigo 5X and the Tigo 8, the Cherry Tigo 7 stayed balanced when it comes to styles, design, features, and practicality. If you opt for the Tigo 5X, it will offer you more advanced technology, premium features, and good ample space on a subcompact category. Also, it offers you a much affordable price in less than a million. But in terms of power, it only offers a naturally aspirated engine paired in a CVT with 114 horsepower and 141 newton meters. Meanwhile, if you opt for Tigo 8, it will offer greater advanced technology, luxurious features, and it offers a more powerful engine thanks to the 1.5 liter turbocharged petrol engine in 6-speed DCT or dual clutch transmission with 145 horsepower and 210 newton meters. In terms of price, however, the Tigo 8 is ranged between 1.2 million to 1.3 million pesos, which it doesn't reach on a 1.5 million peso mark. Sounds great, isn't it? However, for some, I think it's not. Instead, if you're getting a crossover with more advanced technology, simple yet premium features, practical as the Tigo 5X, and sporty characteristics, the Cherry Tigo 7 is the great choice between the two. Speaking of sporty, the Cherry Tigo 7 has got sporty and athletic characteristics to its design. From front to back, the car has an appeal to grab your eyes to get attention to the car's image. What I like about the design of the Tigo 5X is the side profile where you can see these lines that kind of look like a shooting star, including the indicators on the front door panels that acts like a star. This one is different from any other cars out there with their indicators on the side mirrors or the front fenders, which it looks unique. Another feature that adds some quirks on this car is the wheel wells look a little boxy or flat than any other cars out there with a typical rounded shape wheel wells. I do notice though that the Tigo 7 particularly 
on its side profile look like a BMW X1. One thing that captures the attention to detail the most is the front fascia itself where the front grille of the Tiggo 7 looks like the head of the catfish with a sexy style. With a smooth, sleek, and curvy design on surf line, chances that this car has better aerodynamics than their brothers. Overall, the design and the silhouette of the Tiggo 7 look European yet sporty in style. Interior-wise, the Cherry Tiggo 7 gets an ergonomic dashboard that looks simple yet it's premium and luxurious as they design this car with elegance. This will keep you nice and comfortable upon cruising on a highway or city roads, whether you are a driver or a passenger. Why do you need to buy a Maserati Levante or BMW X Series or any other luxury SUVs if your budget is not enough on your piggy bank? Try to check the Cherry Tiggo 7 and see it for yourself. It has loads of features including its advanced technology, high premium quality materials like your typical luxury SUVs, good in comfort and value for money. Plus, you can get the warranty up to 10 years or reaching 1 million kilometers, which includes your PMS, general vehicle warranty, and engine train services. There's only one variant available for the Tigo 7 in the Philippines, and that is the 1.5 turbo DCT. The Cherry Tigo 7's exterior features are equipped with automatic xenon projector headlights with LED daytime running lights, three clawed rear LED lights, front and rear fog lights, black front grille with chrome strip highlights, automatic rain sensing wipers, indicators on the front doors, multicolored side mirrors and door handles, black lower side claddings with chrome accents, roof rails, rear spoiler with high mount stop light, roof antenna, and front and rear parking sensors. Safety features for the Tigo 7 are provided by two airbags anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, emergency brake assist, electronic stability program, traction control, hill assist control, hill descent control, cruise control, tire pressure monitoring system, ELR seat belts, isofix child seats and tether anchors for the rear seats, electronic anti-theft, and engine immobilizer. Fitted on the Stego 7 are the sets of 18-inch, 5-spoke alley rims, wrapped in 225-60 R17 tires. Ventilated disc brakes and solid disc brakes are applied for both front and rear respectively. As for the suspension, the front gets McPherson struts, while the rear gets multi-link independent setup. Speaker right there and right up here. Bottle holder and storage. Window controls. All four windows in this car are fully powered, and all of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions. Window lock, center locking. Headlight adjuster, mirror controls, power folding side mirrors. This button right here turns off or on your traction control. As shown earlier, this lever right here pops up your bonnet, two card slots. This lever right here pops up your fuel door, illuminated Tigo door sills. And the driver's seat of this Tigo 7 gets a fully manual adjustment. Got your seat back, height adjuster, and sliding position controls. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side. However, it loses out on a height adjuster.
All right. Let's check the inside features of the Tigo 7. Leather padded center armrest and underneath you have a decent amount of size storage area with your cigarette lighter or a power outlet depending what you use it for. USB port Two cup holders, hand operated parking brake as I showed you earlier on, your engine start stop button as I showed you earlier on, little storage, underneath is a storage with a USB port, and right here got your digitally controlled uh, standard climb control system, fan speed to the left. Temperature to the right, off button, and your air conditioning dials. You can, uh, well, you can go through your climb control system controlled using this uh, infotainment uh, screen right here. These are your different modes. You can adjust your um, your fan speed, temperature. Uh, you have your recirculation, outside air, a uh, recirculation, outside air, front read, front, front defrost, and your air conditioning button. You can turn off this climb control system using this button right here. This button right here uh, controls you to uh, select your different driving modes, whether it's uh, eco or sport. It depends on your preference. The Tigo 7 comes with Cherry's integrated head unit, which features a 9-inch LED touchscreen display, various media connectivity options, and 6 speakers for the sound system. The sound system of the Cherry T Go 7 uh, works fairly decent. I like the sound system of this car. Now, currently you are in a uh, currently you are in a home menu. So let's tackle the infotainment system of the Cherry T Go 7. If you go to this uh, system right here, it goes through your uh, climb control system controls. As I showed you earlier on, go to your media where you can see your uh, music title, or, uh, your artist, playing pause, seek track, your playback, your shuffle, repeat. You can go through your different uh, um, media platforms like your video, picture, USB 1, USB 2, and all that. Now go to your uh, telephone button. 
when you dial a number use this uh, kind of uh, keypads right here if you want a uh, call just press this one let's go to settings here are your Bluetooth settings contacts dial and your recent calls this menu right here goes to your uh, radio as you can see if you hit the cherry logo where you can you where you can read all of your information your precautionary measures for your for your car you can uh, enable disable your auto light DRLs rear camera now let's go to your cloud drive here are the instructions for your uh, uh, screen mirroring function you can use whether uh, your Android uh, phone let's uh, see what the what are the instructions of this kind of uh, system if you are a Android user Or if you are an app Apple user, uh, for example, iPhone. If you are an iPhone user, here are the instructions. If you go through settings. Okay, pagkita ko na lang sa inyo ha. Uh, these are your shortcut buttons, and right in the middle is uh, your uh, hazard switch. And here's your home button, your cloud drive system, your telephone button, and your settings. Now, obviously, you can't find any setting menu for this infotainment display. All you have to do just go towards this button, set button, to go through your different settings. On the display settings, you can enable disable your full screen, screen switch, you can adjust your brightness for your infotainment system, you can uh, change your screen background, and all that. You can restore default settings by using this uh, uh, dial right here. And that's it for the display setting. Now go for your sound setting where you can able or disable your loudness, your key tone, adjust your sound setting with your different equalizers, adjust your bass, middle, treble using this custom dial right here. That's it for the effects. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is your sound field setting where you can calibrate your sound uh, setting adjust your speed volume or default volume you can scroll up and down And for your sound setting, you can restore the default setting using this uh, dial right here. Vehicle setting. As said, you can uh, enable, disable your auto light, DRL, 
you can turn on the reverse camera rear camera screen sorry mirror folding you can disable or enable your auto mirror folding security tips once you um, if there is an alarm the lights and horn will operate at the same time instrument time you can adjust your time Instr instrument backlight and again for the vehicle setting you can restore the settings to default now go, go to your system setting your system info radio area actually kind of weird uh, about this one because it selects USA dapat sa Asia ngay but okay lang and you can reset the system using the factory reset and here are your quick start guide for your Bluetooth cloud drive again Bluetooth cloud drive um, exception factory reset and others if you don't know how to use this infotainment system right here you can go to your quick start guide on your settings and that's about it on this uh, infotainment system of this Cherry Tigo 7 These are flanked with two air vents. Light and indicator controls. And your wiper controls to the right. This car has an automatic lights and automatic wipers. On the steering wheel, the left spoke has your volume controls, mode button, seat track, and you have your uh, left arrow, right arrow, and your informational button right here. This buttons right here controls you to control the multi-information display right within the instrument gauge. While on the right side is your cruise control as well as your on hook and off hook buttons for your Bluetooth telephone menu. The steering wheel on this Tigo 7 gets a fully manual tilt only adjusting using the sleeve right here. As shown earlier, power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in, press this button. Center locking. No grip handles for this one. The driver's side sun visor does get a vanity mirror with a light. They are in LED. In 
interior lights right above. And this button right here uh, opens and closes your panoramic sunroof. It is a one-touch mechanism. Close. Use this button. Use this button right here to open this panoramic sunroof as a vent. You can open and close the shade using this uh, button, using these two buttons right here. to open fully the shade it is a one touch mechanism and to close fully just press and hold this button sunglass holder and a manual dimming rear view mirror front passenger side sun visor with the vanity mirror and the light they are LED grip handle on the ceiling for the front passenger side Perfect size amount of glove box. With your owner with your owner's manual, quick start guide, and all that. So as your warranty and maintenance booklet. Got your 12 volt power outlet. All right. So that's it for this one. We can turn it off right now. and continue with the rest of our review.
speaker down there bottle holder storage window control The rear seat backs can be do-fold down in a 60-40 manner. Push this toggle right here and drop the seat back down. Which by the way, this one folds uh, 60 and this one folds uh, 40. The reason for this is to accommodate more space throughout the boot. Adjustable headrests, both front and rear. I do set the driver's seat in a position that I feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 9 which is about 1.7 meters tall and I do have the room to stretch out my feet underneath at the driver's seat. As for leg room, I have this much. While I have this much in terms of headroom, space wise um, I would say that it's pretty generous at the back here uh, even though it is a, a crossover SUV but yeah it's pretty generous. And in terms of comfortness, thanks to its nicely padded uh, leather seats, which gives you a nice, uh, comfortable ride on it, and it cushions you like a true teddy bear or something like that. And overall, not a bad thing on this kind of class. You have storage pockets in the front seat backs. You have two air vents. You also have a grip handles on the ceiling for both sides for the rear. And you also have a center armrest with two cup holders. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the hatch itself and locate the touchpad over the number plate. The Charity Go 7's cargo volume measures 400 liters of space. For extra practicality, fold down the rear seats and removing the cargo cover. 
the boot floor can actually be adjusted in different heights and under the boot floor are your spare tire, toolkit and jack. Also, you have two cubby holes on the sides as well as your light located on the left side that illuminates the area. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this full walk around review of the 2020 Cherry T Go 7 that is mated to a 6-speed dual clutch transmission. If you like this video, make sure it thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always guys, I'll see you next time with for more latest videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching and mabuhay!